Hey there guys, welcome to the channel. So unfortunately more sorted and very, very disappointed footage coming out of New Jersey. And it appears to show the wife, the now wife of Democrat Senator Goldbar Bob, back when she was just his girlfriend in 2018, talking to police right after she killed a guy with her Mercedes. But uh, apparently it's not that simple. So Senator Bob Menendez's girlfriend, like I said, she had an accident in New Jersey. And also, like I said, a guy died. And now we're getting to see the unusual things that happened after the accident. Now, and we're only seeing it because the government and the media are finally digging in to all the nasty details of a day in the life of Gold Bar Bob. So these reports and this video, you know, regardless of fraud and bribery and all that stuff, they show a pretty laid back approach by the police. And you got to feel for this guy's family, honestly, but, you know, especially considering the seriousness. I mean, let me know in the comments if I sound like a prude for thinking that chuckling and lighthearted banter while there's a guy laying dead just a few feet away is just not a good look. And let's just take a look at this and see what you guys think. But before we do, guys, thank you so much to everyone that's been subscribing and leaving such great comments. We're building a great community together, guys, and we're having so much fun. If you haven't joined us already, guys, help us with the algorithm. Help us get our message out there. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, share the channel. Take a look at this. Or speaking to an attorney. So I don't want to do anything that's, wrong. That's perfectly fine. I so 100% get where break. you're coming from. You're not. Look, I, I get it. I get it. Um, why is there? Why was the guy in the middle? Of the well, that's what that's what we're trying to figure out. That's what you know. Our job is to investigate everything that happens. That's what we're trying to do. Um, obviously, the I more information. Do anything wrong? No, no. I, you know. Look, I. I understand. I understand. Um, it does expedite our investigation when people can help us out. Because if we can clear you from any wrongdoing, I want to get you home and comfortable and not here anymore. You get what I'm saying? Nothing against you. But the car's not drivable. The car's not drivable. We're going to take care of that. Okay? The car's going to actually be towed. Okay? It's going to be towed to the yard. Um, we have an on-duty call uh, tow company. Can I just empty my truck? Absolutely, absolutely. Before you go... Uh, and do I have a card or a number or something? Yep, I'm going to give you all that information, okay? Before you go, I just want to confirm that you do not want to give me your phone, correct? Yes. Okay, and that's your statement that you were driving this way, the guy came from this way, and he ran in to your vehicle. He jumped on my windshield. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Very good. Come with me to the sergeant. Hey, sergeant. She's uh, just requesting to grab some personal items out of the vehicle. I'm going to get a card ready for her for the MBA report. And um, and then that's it. Okay. Can you, uh, so. Go with that. Kevin wants to see the call. So. Okay. All right, man. Let's go grab the stuff out of your car. If your friends want to help, that's more than fine. Okay. Okay. There we go. Yeah, man. So after this happened, and actually, before we talk about that, you know, isn't that just the damn coldest and most callous thing? I mean, look, dude, I don't care what side of the aisle you're on. And aside from some of the more extreme progressive policies, I don't necessarily think that your politics make you either a good or a bad person. But dude, that is cold. All this lady cared about was her freaking Mercedes. And to me, that's insane. I mean, I get it. I totally get that people react to traumas in very, very different ways, okay? But it just seems cold. You know, there's literally a dead man that you killed just a few feet away from where you're whining and complaining. But I mean, that's almost beside the point. Guys, if that was you or if that was me or basically any normal person who had just been involved in a fatality accident, they don't just let you leave. You know, and I'm not saying they arrest you, that's not what happens, but they at least draw blood, they breathalyze you, they do some investigating, that's what police do. I don't know, you know, maybe New Jersey just doesn't do that and I'm reading too much into this, but my gut feeling is that what we just saw there is preferential treatment. And let me know in the comments what you guys think or if you do know the regulations in New Jersey. But uh, anyway, and, and guys, this is not just to pile on and prove what despicable humans these Menendezes really are. This actually does tie into the fraud and the bribery allegations because apparently just a week after this, a friend, quote unquote, gifted them a new Mercedes that uh, the government says was 
a payment for a bribe. And uh, anyway, on top of all that, it's just bad, it's just callous. It's so callous that even the lefties on MSNBC are calling him out on this one. But anyway, I thought you guys deserved to see this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, share the channel. We'll see you in the next one.